Mike with Standard Time with Ray White of Scout West, the developers of Standard Time. And we're taking time to answer your questions about how to use Standard Time a little bit more efficiently. So, Ray, today's all about vacation requests. Yeah. I know Standard Time is more than a timesheet, but how do we actually get vacation requests into Standard Time? Right. So let's switch over to the screen here. And um, I'm going to collapse some of these projects and open up a section at the bottom here called Time Off. So you see in the timesheet your project's listed there, and then you see this special section at the bottom with the airplanes. That's your time off, okay? Okay. So this is where people can submit a time off request. Let's say they go down to vacation, type in eight hours, press the tab key, this form pops up, and they're able to go in and tell the reason they're taking the time off, a description if they want to, there's a beginning, ending date, uh, there's the number of hours that they plan to take off, okay? So they submit this, their manager will get an email notification indicating that they've submitted a time off request. Then that manager can come back here and approve or decline that, okay? So that is how a time off request can be submitted. Now if you switch over to the time off tab, uh, this is another place where HR managers, um, other administrators, executives can go in and see all of the time off requests. You see the different names listed here for the employees of time that they have requested to take time off. Some of those may be newly submitted, others may be in progress uh, or uh, approved already. But if you click on one of these, the same form pops up and the manager can look at all the fields that they filled out then they can go down here and then actually approve that time off. When they do, that's going to subtract the hours from their bank. So you have this notion of accruing hours on a regular basis, and then when the time off request is actually approved, then it subtracts the hours from their bank. So there's some other things you can do in here as a manager. You can go in and uh, right click and choose time off reasons. So this is the, the list of reasons that we saw over in the timesheet, and I'll go back there in a bit, but those reasons there are the reasons that you can pick to take PTO or other time off requests for sick, personal, whatever reasons. So you can create your own list here. You can also right click in here and choose time off policies. And again, you have to be a administrator to do this, but you're going to see a list of your employees here in this drop down. And you're also going to see a list of the reasons that you set up in that screen that we just showed. For each one of those reasons, you'll have the bank of hours. So this is the, uh, the number of hours that you have available to you, uh, the hours that you earn, and then the earn period or when you earn those hours. So you can set those up for each of the employees, and then this system will sit there and accrue hours. So. Uh, people will earn new hours and then they can go over to the timesheet as we showed these are the reasons they can go here and submit their time off and when they do uh, they will subtract the hours from the bank and so that's really all there is to it it's pretty simple that's great let me tell you Ray my HR manager loves standard time it's made her life a ton easier she's already organized but this kind of took it up to the next level yeah to where she's just she's nerding out on it so that's yeah, awesome no more spreadsheets no more spreadsheets which okay. is great so we're answering your questions more next time we'll catch you then bye